Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Day two of Team of the Season, Syria is here. I want to talk about what happened yesterday on day one. Was it a little bit of a letdown? There was some good content, but I also just feel like Syria Team of the Season doesn't have as much hype as some of the other leagues. And there's a, I think there's a couple reasons for that. So I want to talk about that today in the video, but also talk about where there is some hype, right? Some of these cards are pretty juiced up. There are some hype. You can see the price is fluctuating a lot. Some of these guys are very rare. Not quite as rare as the Bundesliga, League, and I'll talk about why that didn't happen. And also just go over what could be happening on the market today on Saturday as we head with more lightning rounds, probably more player SBCs, maybe a flashback that we were hoping to see yesterday. They broke their uh, streak of doing flashback SBCs on a Friday. We had zero flashback players yesterday, so EA kind of broke their streak in that matter. But... Uh, first things first, I do want to have a little bit of a short intro here. We have a new YouTube channel for the Foot Account and Clips. It's going to basically be short clips from live streams and videos that are funny, banter, whatever. Make sure you get involved with that. Link is down below in the description. It's going to be a lot of fun. We just posted a new one just a couple minutes ago, so get involved with that. But Serie A team of the season cards, of course, are out in this game. Some of these cards are pretty hyped up, right? A lot of big name players in here for the Serie A. Teo Hernandez got a boosted card like we thought he would. I think Lukaku might be the most of the biggest surprises though. And this guy is expensive and very rare. 1.45 million coins uh, for that card. Mertens is actually kind of expensive as well right now. Some of these cards are dropping down a little bit in the nighttime. So we'll talk about maybe flipping some of those. But as we take a look across this team... A lot of these cards are pretty cheap. And again, that's the first point that I want to make today. The Serie A team of the season is pretty cheap. And that's why I feel like there's not as much hype there. Because, you know, there's a couple of these cards that I think people would try to fit into their teams. Teo Hernandez, maybe Insigne, Lukaku, Kessi, Quadrado, of course, Ronaldo, maybe Mertens, right? So there's a couple of cards in here that look decent, right? And of course, you guys are going to have your opinions as well. If you're more of a Serie A fan over a Bundesliga fan, I kind of think that Bundesliga was a bit better than Serie A as it feels right now, but there's definitely some hype cards that are in this team. Now, you've seen these prices fluctuate a little bit. They're going to continue to move into the, the day today on Saturday, but I want to say one thing. I think this Lukaku card is a bit overpriced. I don't mean, I don't think that's a secret to anybody. 1.45 mil right now for Lukaku. I mean, this is really reminding me of Suarez two weeks ago where he was like 1.3, 1.4 on the weekend and dropped off to, you know, 900,000 coins pretty shortly after that. I think this Lukaku is going to get around to the mil range pretty soon. I know he's got a lot of hype. I know he got a huge agility balance boost. 37 balance and 26 agility boost from his last inform on this card. So a huge dribbling boost, but he still is probably going to feel like a truck a little bit in the game. So just kind of putting that out there. He might feel decent. I might give him a go or at some point if we can find one, if we're trying to like trade one, we get it for a cheap price. But I think he's one of the most hyped cards in this entire team of the season. Quadrado got a pretty good physical boost, still a bit low on the strength. He has a lot of in games though. And that's a very attacking right back that was very popular earlier in the year. He might have some popularity return. But again, like I said in yesterday's video, I really feel like it's going to be the SBC content that carries this promo, carries Serie A team of the season. And yesterday we started off with a banger of an SBC. And actually, I'm not even going to go to the SBC section because I have completed this card myself. Chuki Lozano, 10 games played for me, 10 goals scored, 3 assists from the striker position. This card coming in at like 230, 240,000 coins. I think this is a great value SBC. So we're starting off with good value SBC content right from the beginning. If this guy was on the market, I think he'd be more like a 500 plus K card. So the fact that his SBC is only 238 K, I think that's good value. I really do. Uh, whether you're gonna try to craft it this week with player picks, I think that was the biggest piece of content yesterday that was released that was a W. So there's a Chuki Lozano. That was our SBC uh, player. We did not really have anything else. We had a Serie A, I think, challenge. Uh, oh, how could I forget? We had the Pastor Fred CDM SBC for the showdown game happening next uh, Thursday, I believe, for Villarreal and Manchester United for the final of the Europa League. Obviously, Manchester United favored to win. 
this Fred card potentially going to a 90 rated if they do win. Four star, four star, high, high. This kind of reminds me of like a Conte-esque card. And if he does get that plus two boost going to a 90, that's going to put him into the 90 passing category, 87 pace, maybe 92, 93 dribbling, upper 80s defense and physical. It's going to make this card look pretty good. So Manchester United fans, Brazilian links in the Prem. That's a pretty nice SBC right there uh, to get involved with. So that was also content that I wasn't really expecting uh, yesterday and we had it. Now, objective wise, objective content was pretty good as well. Barella is a really, really good looking card for this game. Really solid stats. Caicedo looks pretty decent as well. The only problem is with this Barella card, it's kind of a weird grind. You have to score uh, in this Serie A select friendly and it has to be 11 different clubs inside of the Serie A. So it's kind of interesting how they're making this objective a little bit harder. But this card for Barella looks really, really good. The Inter links are going to be pretty good this week, I think, too. I mean, you look at Inter cards that have gotten into team of the season. You've got, of course, Lautaro Martinez. You've got Lukaku. You've got Skriniar. You've got DeVry. And then, of course, you do have like the Vidal card that came out earlier in the year. Vidal for birthday that is a very, very popular item that a lot of people have probably still in their clubs and potentially more SBCs coming out in this next week for Inter players. So I think those links are going to be pretty good this week. So that Barella card is a W. Now, a lot of these cards have dropped off from where they were. They kind of acted like the Bundesliga cards, but unlike what I thought yesterday, I thought these cards were going to be a bit more rare. I thought the lightning rounds weren't going to sell out, but I think solely with the inclusion of Cristiano Ronaldo in this promo team, it made the lightning round sell out, which is crazy to think about because if you, if you think about it this way, how many people in the world are thinking when they load up FIFA, hey, I'm going to pack Cristiano Ronaldo today. The percentage chance of you packing Cristiano Ronaldo team in the season today or yesterday is basically slim to none. So the fact that the lightning round sold out today with that hype of Ronaldo being there, and you know, it's not just Serie A hype. I mean, there's a little bit of Serie A hype there, but I feel like the Bundesliga, at least in FIFA, has a little bit more hype in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but the lightning rounds did sell out. These cards are pretty rare, but they're not as rare as the Bundesliga was. So that was one thing that I thought was gonna happen uh, yesterday that didn't really come to 100% fruition, but these guys are getting really cheap right now. I mean, this Teo Hernandez, 800K flat. He is down a lot from where he was. I mean, even like I'm watching Mertens. Um, Mertens was around 1.2. 5 million coins earlier today and right now he is about 1.1 mil he's 1.116 right there so he is down a decent amount Kessie was 850k uh steady and holding and he is right now down to 760,000 coins i believe so it's going to be interesting to see if some of these cards rebound up into the morning today on saturday now i will say one thing rarity is key this Kessie card is very very rare teo hernandez pretty freaking rare the Lukaku, Mertens, those are both very rare cards as well. And even Insigne is decently rare. So the cards that have been fluctuating around, if you're trying to trade with any of these today, or if you're you know looking for a low point to buy some of them, 331 for Insigne. Wow, these guys are dropping kind of low tonight. I'm kind of interested in Teo Hernandez because he's bounced around a little bit. He was 830K at one point and rebounded back up to um, almost 900. Right now he's 800 flat. And if I take a look, up to like 870k i've only got one page of supply so if the supply kind of dries up overnight tonight he could jump back up in price as people wake up today on saturday and want to try out some of these cards now the ones that moved the most yesterday would be the ones that i'd be looking at again this lukaku was up to like 1.5 and he's got so much hype he might get back there but right now lukaku's at 1.4 million coins 1.45 I would really have to see this in the mid to low 1.3s again, in my opinion, for myself to get interested in it because there's so many people that are that hyped about this Lukaku card uh, right now in this game. Now, also, again, if you don't want to hold any of these cards through the weekend and you do want to take the cash, probably this morning is going to be kind of their high point over the next day or two because these cards are going to drop off. And I just want to show you some graphs from last year to show you how cheap these cards got. Because again, this is Serie A, where the hype is maybe down a little bit, and there's been so many other team of the season cards that have come already um, in this game. Now, you obviously hear this this is the FIFA 21 side. This is the FIFA 20 side for Serie A team of the season, right? These cards were way more juiced up than we had seen this year in the game, and I want to show you these prices, right? 
1.7 mil for Lautaro. Last year, this was his first ever team of the season. Pretty hyped up card. Very expensive. Incredibly better stats, right? 96, 96, 98. Uh, this year, he's got 94, 93, 94. So big price difference just off the stats to begin with. But look how much Lautaro dropped. 1.7 first weekend, all the way down to when he went on a PAX, 1.3. So that's a 400K drop-off. But then look what happened the next week during League One Tots when more hyped players came out, more SBCs, and more usable items that people really wanted to use and could very easily fit in their team with French links and more hype, right? 900K. So in a two-week span, this guy literally almost halved in price. You can see dropping down to 800K as we go through Ultimate Tots, dropping even lower. So I think that's going to be the same case for a lot of these Serie A cards. I don't think there's a single card in this team right now that I would sit here and tell you and look you in the eye and say, hey, this card is going to go higher from this point. That's just not how it works at this stage of the year. So it's fine to be trying out the cards right now in this point of the game. You know, if you want to be buying Lukaku to try him out to see how he is, if it is the hype real, absolutely. Go ahead, give him a shot, try him out and have fun, but every single week that we have new Team of the Season cards come out, it literally um, just makes other ones drop because you have brand new substitute items, you could call them, coming onto the game. New items that people want to try over the, the older ones from the previous Team of the Seasons and stuff like that. So that's kind of how I'm feeling. These cards are going to drop off a lot. Now, like again, the really rare ones, like Kessie is showing off footbin at 775, but he's actually 800k. This guy's really rare. So I'm going to keep watching this card because he might rebound up. I'm going to take a look at the overnights as well. Um, like Kessie has how many overnights? None at 840. There's an 810 that's going to get bought up though. 870, man, this guy's really, really cool. You know, you look at some of the stuff and these cards will probably move up a little bit into the day. Select cards, the ones that are, that are pretty hyped and stuff like that. Now, there were a lot of market movements yesterday in general. I had an up and down day on the market. I bought a Teo at 910, sold it at 880, so there was a loss there. Lost on this Quadrado as well. He went back down to 220K. I bought this Adon at 1.45 and I bought this Maradona at 1.3 flat. So those were our money makers on the day. This Sancho is from a couple days ago. And this Tamori I bought at 230, sold at 259. So um, there were some market movements that were profitable yesterday for sure. Um, but again, it, and not a ton of the market really went up big because a lot of people are running in tradable teams. They've got um, a lot of people actually saved up player picks yesterday. So that was more of the hype yesterday was saving up the untradable player pick packs. And then there wasn't too many people that went out and bought teams after that because it's not like they got more coins from opening player picks. They were happy with their team, with the untradables from La Liga, Bundesliga, Premier League Tots. They're, they're going out and trying to pack the new players just to see if they hit something big in this game. So I do want to mention just what's going to happen with weekly sell-off as well because I think that today you're going to see more of a drop-off on these Bundesliga cards. I mean, Muller, 270K, up big. Kimmich, 820K, up big. LaCroix up 50K. Davies up 50,000 coins. Uh, Sancho is over 3 mil again. I know these cards are really rare, but again, as we head out of team of the season, Bundesliga, the hype is again. If there is big SBC content coming this week, and I think people are expecting that, um, just because that's how it's been the past three weeks, you're going to see these prices fall a decent amount out of the weekend as well, in my opinion. Now, speaking of SBCs, let's talk about fodder. Boom right? A lot of the SBCs went away. So you see a huge drop off in fodder that was as expected. The 86 index. I mean, these cards are down to like 20k a piece for 86s, which is definitely low. It's not super low. Actually, 22k, they're up a little bit. You could get them cheaper during lightning rounds. Um, but what I would say again is the 83 to 86 range is going to be the place to be this week in terms of investing in fodder. If there are SBCs that come out, that's going to be the place to go. 84 rated cards are down, I think, the most percentage point wise, 290 points on the graph. At one point last week, we were at 160. So we are basically right here. At this point, we're at 301. Uh, we were at earlier this week, 438, and now we're back down to 301. So a very sizable drop off, but I wouldn't consider 84s and all of fodder right now to be low. Although if we do have insane content coming out this week, it's probably only going to go higher. We're only going to have to figure that out if you do a little bit of gambling and preparation ahead of time. So if you do want to have a club stock, if you do want to buy some players, again, I think 83s, sorry, not even 83s, these are 2K a piece. I'm going to not get involved with those, but 84s 
85s and 86s would be the ones that if you do want to do some SBCs this week, if a Zlatan were to come out, if a Flashback 9 Golan were to come out, a Milinkovic Savage Tots card, there's plenty of options that could have big name SBCs this week for Serie A. If you do want to get involved with some of those, I think a club stock is the way to go 100%. Like I'm going to club stock a Tagliafico. Um, right here because he's also going to be out of packs or not out of packs, but maybe I'm not going to club stock and tag if he goes 7.5k. It looks like a lot of these other ones are like 7,000 coins flat. So, um, or or flipping just lying to me. What the heck, man? 7.5k. They're not all not 7.5. Anyways, um, that's just something I would do this weekend. Maybe tonight, the last week. Uh, on the Friday night is when those cards were actually their cheapest. So that could be a situation uh, you could get involved with there if you do want to get involved with some of the fodder. I'm going to be looking at just the high tier cards because this is what I like trading with the most, right? Fluctuations with the icons and with these brand new TOTS cards. That's kind of my name of the game. If I saw Mertens at like, you know, 1.0, this one went at 1066 on a bid. That was a really good deal. I should have bought that. I should have been paying attention, but... Um, if I see some big drop-offs in those cards today, that could be interesting. Now, you're going to have to watch on your Serie A out-of-pack special cards as well. A couple cards from Community. Um, Zielinski, 70,000 coins at the moment. Um, let's see, Ariel in 94K. That is up big. I want to take a look at... There's a foot birthday Tamori, 232,000 coins. So this card is back down. Now, of course, we had so much hype last week with center backs, with right backs, with left backs in the Bundesliga. That's where people's defense is right now. But of course, if you're trying to link Teo Hernandez, this Tamori card gives some pretty, pretty good links. Same with the what if smalling. So not entirely sure what's going to happen with these, but these guys are kind of low. So unless we have uh, an SBC that comes out, that would be like a direct link to a Tamori. Like if we had, I don't know, like a a center defensive mid or right mid from AC Milan. This is a card that links together a lot of stuff from Serie A team of the season, right? It links together uh, your Kessie card. It links your Hernandez, it links your Donnarumma. So I kind of like this Tamori as one who could maybe rise up later on into the week next week. Um, but again, that's kind of a risk investment as well because you need more hype for the Serie A for people to actually want to go out and change their teams to put those cards in there. So that's just kind of my thoughts. I would watch out for those specials, but the rest of the market this weekend tonight, it's probably going to start dropping off. Uh, you saw Lucas go up a little bit today with the links to the Fred SBC. Ferland Manny, the content drop was 570K. He rebounded to 630 because Teo Hernandez was so expensive. This Parasitch is down, which interests me a bit. I know that Chucky Lozano came out today, so that's going to hurt the right mid position um, in the Serie A. But again, interlinks right mid parasitch with this the skills and the weak foot this guy has he's five star five star it's, it's decently meta in this game i mean if this guy's back down you know 80k for this is probably going to be something that could do well later on this week with interlinks coming out uh, i know again that we had the chucky lozano but this is a very different card even though it's in the same position so that could be something that rises based off of hype later on this week now speaking of chucky lozano himself he went his headliner card went down a bunch because that SBC was so good value. It's 110,000 coins right now for Chucky Lozano's headliner cards. It's literally dropped off in half. I mean, it was 99K just a bit ago. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, if you had this card as a link investment today, you just kind of got unlucky because um, that SBC really is destroying destroying his card's price because a lot of people are going to do that 92 Jackie Lozano. So anyways, today on Saturday, I'm expecting another player SBC almost 100%. Unless this team is really not going to be hyped and we're not going to see a lot of content this week, I would 100% expect another player SBC today. Hopefully, we do get that Zlatan, the 9 Golan, the SMS. I think all those cards are pretty, I guess, um, very likely to get to get in uh, to in SBC this week. So I'm kind of hoping that we see one of those big boys today. That could be very, very interesting. Hope we see one of them drop in the game. I've got some fodder ready to do it, especially if it's a Zlatan, because Zlatan is a big card for me, and I'm going to want to get that done. But again, one thing we'll be watching out for today, especially on a guy like Lukaku on Mertens, is the panic selling pre-6 p.m. Panic selling pre-6 p.m. And then, of course, people think they're going to get supplied so much through lightning rounds, but they never do, right? The lightning rounds on Saturdays really don't supply them that much unless we have insane content today. Um, I don't expect these cards to really move down too terribly much in price just because, again, it's all about the content and the hype 
and if there's not a lot of it, then what's going to make them move? People are just going to buy them back and continue trying them out in the weekend league. So if you are grinding the weekend league, good luck. Have fun. Uh, best of wishes if you're grinding that. I had a great start today, and then it's just gone south, man. I'm very, not very motivated at all to play the weekend league. Um, at, you know, that's why I stop at Silver 1 all the time because I this is how it works every weekend. But regardless, it should be a decent Saturday today on FIFA. Again, if you do want to make that club stock investments, that's, you know, not a super duper safe investment, but I think that's a safer investment heading into this week with hopefully a decent amount of SBCs dropping in the game um, this week with Serie A team of the season. Now, of course, on Sunday, we'll probably see a more weekend league sell-off and a lot of the upgrade packs being released. Now, again, just like we saw last week, a lot of people were buying up gold rares. Uh, I think people really just want to pack Cristiano Ronaldo and Teo Hernandez and maybe some of those big name cards, but I, I'm pretty sure that gold rares uh, really didn't even drop. I'm like gold rares, like 800, 900, 900 coins, uh, which I guess is down a little bit. But there's a lot of people bidding on them again during lightning rounds. And if there's not as much hype for upgrade SBCs this week, I don't really know if I would expect to see gold rares get really, really expensive again this week. So just kind of something to be careful with if you are trading on the market today. So if you want to make coins today, legit, the, the thing that I would say is look at your icons, right? They fluctuate a ton. Uh, like this Maradona from yesterday, the, the middle Maradona that I traded with went down to 1.3 mil. Oh my gosh, he's back there again. I literally, I literally just sold this Maradona two hours ago. Actually, it was more like three or four hours ago. I sold this guy for 1.397 million coins. And right now he's 1.298. So these cards are moving around like crazy. Uh, and the fact that this has been on here for the whole hour is really nuts. And I'm looking at his graphs right now on Footbin. He sold at 135, 138, 1265, um, 139. I mean, there's my 1397 that sold right there. So the fact that this one has been up here on the market for an entire hour <laughs> and has not sold is pretty crazy. And, and since it's been up there for that long, I'm actually going to let it sit. Um, I'm going to let it sit and see if any of these three cards get relisted. And if they undercut this Maradona, then maybe I get an even better deal and try to flip them into the daytime. So that's the kind of stuff that I'd be trading with for real, because that's the stuff that is fluctuating around and there's no supply for it, but there's still demand, right? So that's kind of stuff I'll be looking at is some of these baby icons. You can go in all tiers, right? High tier, low tier, middle tier, anything, um, you know, some of your... Syria legend in terms of I legends in terms of icons like Del Piero baby. This guy was up a little bit today. Maldini was up. These cards are rare, man. Look at them, how rare they are. It's kind of crazy. Moments of Baggio was somebody who I was watching today. Is he up at all? 500 and like 30k. Yeah, it's up a little bit. He was like 490. So, you know, that's the kind of stuff that I'd be looking at today if you're trying to make coins along with that club stock. But if you have any of these team and season cards, I would be getting them out sooner rather than later play your week in the games fast if you can i know it's not easy all the time to do that but the sooner the better in my opinion um and i'm gonna probably get involved with the tail hernandez because this guy keeps getting undercut and people are bidding 790 and he's pretty rare and people are gonna see his drop down and maybe try him out in the morning today on saturday so i'm gonna get involved with that i think pretty soon i got four million coins to mess with on the weekends we make coins so that we can do upgrade packs during the week that's the plan but Hopefully you guys enjoyed the content. Let me know what you're thinking for Serie A team of the season. Again, I feel like a lot of this is just we're nearing the end of team of the season. The hype is kind of going down a little bit. We do have a Ronaldo in packs. That's cool. Um, but I think a lot of people are focused on the week after this with League One and then the week after that with ultimate team of the season. So it's just getting a little repetitive at this point, having all these new TOTS cards. It is cool to see the huge boost in rating and the new cards come out. But when the hype isn't 100% there like it is at the beginning, you know, you just see some of these prices drop off and just the hype in general drop off a bit. So let me know how it's going for you guys down below in the description. And also make sure you check out the link in the description for the new uh, Foot Accountant Clips page on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.